So I found this Pikachu model at the 123D gallery and thought it would make a nice trinket holder. So let's do that. Bring a hemisphere into the work plane. I gave it a 15 millimeter radius. Now turn it over and move it in place. I'm going to cut off the bottom so that it will print without supports. To do this, I need a cutting edge. So that's why I cruised the box into the work plane and drew a line on it. I'm going to use the line as the cutting plane. So go to Modify Split Solid click on the hemisphere, click on the line, click on the work plane to finish, and now I've cut the bottom at that line off. Delete what's not needed, and then move the rest of the hemisphere level with the bottom of the model. Shell the hemisphere by selecting it, and then clicking Shell. I'm making it a bit thicker than the default. Move the bowl over. I think I'll make it a little bit taller. Let's finesse the location now. And let's put a button on it to make it look like a Pokeball. Let's fill it this top edge. And then move it into place. Now check out the whole model to make sure it's as wanted, that the bottom of the bowl is level with the bottom of the Pikachu. And when all is in order, combine merge everything. Click on Pikachu and click on the bowl. And then click on that button. Then click on the workspace to finish. Then select and send to Mesh Mixer. Here I want to check a few things. At Analysis Stability, that green ball tells me that it's stable, that it'll stand up in that position. Here are the units, and I think I'll change the size, make it a little bit bigger. Send to the print area. Send to MakerBot Desktop, and it tells me it's actually too big for my MakerBot Rep 2, and it asked if I wanted to scale to fit, which I did. Here are the settings I'm using. And let's print it.
I've added some tape at the eyes because it's easier to do that than to paint them. And there you have it.